Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to be showing you my current foundation routine. Um, there is a lot of steps to my foundation routine currently. You do not need to do this amount of steps by any means. Like for example, I use two under eye primers and I use three face primers. You do not need to use that much. Um, please, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Please make your routine what you need it for. I'm just showing you what my routine is. So let's get on into it. So the first thing I do is I use two different under eye hydrating primers. Um, I use the e.l.f. one and I use the Smashbox one. Um, I like the thickness of the Smashbox one, but I don't find it quite hydrating enough. So I top it with the e.l.f. one. And again, that may seem a little extra, but that's okay. And hydrating under eye primer seems extra to begin with, but when you're as dry as I am, it makes sense. Also, um, I did want to let you know if this video seems kind of choppy, it's not because I'm editing it, editing it in a way to where like I'm hiding information or anything. Um, I have a really bad cough. So occasionally I might just need to pause my filming, cough, and then keep going. Um, clean and simple. Well, that's how that is. Um, there's going to be quite a few products in this foundation routine that aren't cruelty free because I am showing you my current foundation routine and my current foundation routine is my product my blah, 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 is my project pan items. So you're gonna see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products that aren't cruelty free. Eight products that aren't cruelty free. Um because I'm trying to use them up. I'm trying to get my money's worth. Next thing I'm gonna use is the Smashbox Photo Fimi Photo Finish Foundation Prime. I'm literally just putting this on my nose and on my cheeks. This is more of a pore filling primer and my pores on my nose and on my cheeks are huge. So that's just what I'm doing. Um, any pore filling primer will work. I really do like the one from LA Girl, but I wanted to give the Smashbox one is in my sample project pan that I'm collabing with Amanda and Molly on. So I will leave all related videos down in the description. I've actually technically haven't really used the Smashbox one before. I've had I had a sample of it a long time ago and I used it, but I can't quite remember what my um thoughts of were on it but just looking on the camera i looked pretty blurred let me get a mirror and see oh wow that actually did a really good job I'm really happy that my friend lexi gave me that so next i'm going in with the alme smart shade cc luminous primer this will just add some illumination to my face since my face was kind of dull. I find this primer to be a good dupe for the, um, L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer, but neither one are cruelty free. A good cruelty free dupe is um, the Wet n Wild Dewy Primer. I actually really like that primer. I 
But like I said, where I'm trying to use up some of my non-cruelty-free products, I'm just really focusing on them. And the next, last primer I'm going in with is the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Illuminate. I don't find this that illuminating, but I find it pretty hydrating, which is why I've been using it on top of the illuminating primer. This one I'm actually going through quite fast, thankfully. Another good um, pore filling primer is the one by Physicians Formula, the like Insta Ready one. That's a good one. I am actually almost out of this Maybelline one, which makes me really happy. I've had it for a very, very long time. Obviously, back before I was cruelty free. I haven't been cruelty free for long, so I'm still trying to weed out products that I'm not using and products that I want to use up. Alright, so I've been kind of doing like a little bit of a reverse foundation kind of thing. So I am going to go in with this LA Colors Contour Stick and just start cream contouring a little bit. So. I'm trying really hard not to cough. So I'm just blending that out with my beauty blender. All right, and I've been using this NARS um, lip product as a cream blush. I do need to sharpen it. Just kind of pulling double duty on some of my products here. So why not? Makeup is to everyone's own desire. And I want to use this NARS matte, uh, satin lip pencil as a cream blush. This one I do one side at a time because I'm terrified that it's going to set really fast. And I won't be able to blend it out that well. I know it looks a little crazy, but trust me, when I add the foundation on top, it's going to look great. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the Benefit What's Up Cream Highlighter and just highlight right here and down onto the high points of my cheekbones. And that just looks really pretty. So right now, I just kind of look flushed. Flushed and glowy, which I love. And if you don't want to wear foundation, this is just a really good way to give you like a really pretty look without foundation. So I look glowy, I look flushed, I look natural. So now we're going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. This is in my project pan. Um, 
like I said, my current foundation routine includes pretty much all my project pan items. That's kind of the way I did it on purpose. Because I wanted to be able to pan stuff that was easy for me to use on the regular. So yes, we are covering up just what we did. But as you can see, it's still kind of showing through because it is such a lightweight foundation. But it doesn't look as crazy. But it still looks pretty and natural and luminous. All right, so next step, I gotta fix these under eyes here. So I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Camo um, Corrector Pen. Sorry, I just had to cough. And I'm putting that right under the eyes. I really do this to cancel out my dark circles And I'm going to be using my AOA Studio High Def Brush E103 just to blend that out. All right. And I'm going over that with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I did take the stopper out of this because I wasn't getting a lot of product at once. So when there's a ton of product on the wand, that's why. Because there's literally a ton of product on the wand. Uh, I just get that as close as I can. without stabbing myself in the eye. And I'm gonna take my beauty blender and blend. I do bring it up onto my actual eyelid to cancel out some of that darkness as you can see there's a lot of darkness on my eyelid but you don't have to do that that's just a personal preference Now, the next step I do is kind of extra, but I've really been loving doing it lately. And I've been taking the Bare Minerals Complete Concealer in the shade Bisque and putting that on my under eyes. I've just been taking this um, Bare Minerals Smoky Eye Brush, picking up a little bit. Tapping off the excess and really just pressing it in. It's gonna look weird for a minute because it's a little like pinky for me, but I will correct that in a minute.
And I just like putting it on right under the eye to get a little bit more coverage. And like I said, you can see the difference in the tone, but I do fix that. Unfortunately, Bisque is the lightest shade. Can't tell if it's dark or if like the undertone is off. But I did get it from my mother-in-law, who is a lot darker than I am. So it wouldn't surprise me if it's just too dark. But at the same time, it doesn't look too, too bad. But because it is still kind of noticeable. If I'm in a rush, I doesn't, I just kind of deal with it. But because it is noticeable, I go into my Bronze Booster Contour Palette. And I take my under eye brush and I just go into that lightest shade. And sweep that on top. So now you can kind of see the difference. It looks a little bit better. It's still not perfect, but it's better. <coughs> Excuse me. I usually don't cough on camera, but so as you can see, now this one looks a little bit lighter than this one because I'm adding that shade to it. And I just kind of work on that for a little bit, as you can tell. Now that's nice, bright, it's covered, we're good. Now next up is optional. You don't have to do this, but I am today because I am kind of in a little bit of a rush. And I'm just going to set my foundation with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, you don't have to set your foundation, you can just um, sit there for a little bit and wait till it dries down but especially when I just heavily powdered my under eye it looks a little weird to have a powdered under eye and a not powdered face so I'm just working with it I still feel kind of luminous, but I'm a lot more like a matte luminous. I don't know if that made any sense. Probably not, because matte luminous just doesn't make sense. I like making sure that I am fully set everywhere. So, and then I like to take my Real Techniques contour brush and just contour my cheeks a little bit. Just uh, really bring out the contouring that I already did. Um, 
Um, sometimes I use the bronzer as well, but I'm not going to bronze today. I'm just not really in the mood, but the bronzer in the bronze booster is really good as well. I'm just, I don't want to bronze today. And then I take my Real Technique, uh, not my Real Techniques, my Flower Beauty blush brush. I always wipe it on this first, um, at least right now, because I would have been testing out so many different blushes, and I really want the true color of the blush to come through. And I'm just going in and using Dallas. I think a Dallas is like the perfect wintertime flush um, blush for pale skin. Maybe even medium skin tones, but I think it's just perfect. You can even, for some people, you can even use Dallas to contour, which I think I'm going to do because I am trying to hit pan in Dallas. And so far, it's just not there. And as you can see, Dallas is pretty glowy. And I know this looks crazy, but I will be um, blending it out. <sighs> All right, I look crazy. I get that. I get that. You're probably thinking, what is this beach doing? But I'm going in with my Eco Tools bronzing and blending brush, and I'm just going to blend it out. So as you can see, it already looks 10 times better. Yeah. I really love building it up and blending it out. I feel like it really adds something to the look. All right, I'm gonna finish off with the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. 